let's create a csr i'll showcase this how to create a csr okay once you logged into the uh, citrix load balancer or adc you can go to traffic management and ssl right if the feature is not enabled you'll have to right click here and you can enable it now it's showing me a disable feature because it is already enabled right now here there are many options here okay one is the, the wizards here you have so it's very easy to use you can simply go to the wizards it will give you an option you can just have to fill those options now to create the csr for a server for server certificate you will have to create here click here server certificate wizard okay when you click here it will give you a wizard option where first is the creating a key right then creating a signing certificate signing request right then installing a certificate once you get the certificate okay so here this is so this if you want to do a self sign here this option is also comes here you can simply do the self sign now here let me start from here now creating a key to creating a key what all information you require here is you have to provide a key file name this is just a name of the file which where the uh, in which name key should be stored i am giving here name as uh, let me give uh, website dot learn fact dot lab right now the my website name is website dot learn fact dot lab that's why i'm mentioning here you can give any name just to recognize uh, this key file should belongs to which domain later on like you have to provide dot key as the extension you can provide any but this is the recommended one by citrix for a key file it's recommended to use dot key as an extension so i'm giving it then it is asking for a key size this is just that key should be having which size it's recommended to go with 2048 as a secure you have lower uh, file size in lower firmware version of this adc uh but if you keep high this will again take more time to decrypt the packet and server compute processing or this load balancer compute processing so by default nowadays standard everybody use 2048 you can vary this once this done right these are many values you can tweak but in this case we are not going to tweak any we are going to simply go ahead now if i create my key file got created that's it now using this key i am going to create certificate signing request here is the main thing what all information you should provide you should can you can ask by your uh, customer or application owner you can take it then you can fill it up because whatever information you provide the same thing is only going to refl reflect in your certificate suppose yeah here the request file name this is nothing but csr file name so now i am going to use the same website name just to uh, Uh, be remember later on very easily and identify it very easily now for this i am going to use extension req means request again this is also recommended by or best practice by citrix suggested uh, use request req as a file extension for csr now same thing here if you can this is key format now while generating a key i kept default format that's why here also it is taking default so you have to so here key is automatically taken otherwise you'll have to manually select which key you have to select right now digest method so this is again used in encryption decryption which sha method to be used while doing certificate handshake so we'll discuss later on we'll just go so here we'll just go through the process and we'll discuss these things again now subject alternative name i shown it to you right for hdfc bank so similarly if you want to get a certificate having multiple url the common names you can give subject alternative name here right now we are not going to use it we are going to you so uh, create for a single website now the country you have to specify you are getting certificate for which organization and for that organization you can fill the request detail now i am going to create it for learn fact that's why i am going to create for our lab purpose so i am going to select india as the country and state i am going to select karnataka you can select any so we have to select this manually right now organization name i am going to select learn fact as an organization now city i'm going to select bangalore 
now you have an email address it's an optional again if you want you can provide if you don't want you can provide it's up to the requirement organization you need is also optional you can provide it finance whatever if it is applicable now here is an important thing this should be filled very very carefully the this should be the uh, common name of the application in this case i have shown you which is used by facebook they are using star.facebook.com because they they are using wildcard right for example if you are using any any website uh, here in this case we are taking website dot learn fact dot lab because we are going to use this as our uh, domain name in our lab so this should be filled very carefully now if you want to provide any password here if the key has else you can skip here so i'm going to fill only these things and i'm going to click create now my certificate request got already generated with this name it is asking me whether to download i'm clicking yes because i want csr file now this is the csr file you should share with your application owner or a customer whoever going to request with your certificate authority right 